What up, what up, crew? How's everybody doing tonight? Let me know if you can see me. Let me know if you can hear me. We're going to get Instagram and TikTok in here for a little while as well. What's up, Pilar? What's up, Jesse? What's up, Miss Phillips? What's up, Crystal? Soak and Rays. What's up, Gretchen? What's up, Dawn? What's up, Debbie? Harp Girl? Deanne? Sharon? Rich? How's it going, Kim? What's up, Sonia? What's up, Audrey? How are you? Awesome, awesome. Let's go. All right, TikTok, Instagram, what's going on? How you guys doing tonight? So, here's the deal, here's the deal. Here's what we got going tonight. We got, <clears throat> I said there might be a chance. I, I wasn't really sure. <coughs> and I had a bunch of requests last week. Well, after last Monday. As far as... Could I do something with kind of my favorite packs? Kind of like that pack thing that we did last week that I didn't even know about that was left over from Black Friday. And so I did something for you guys. All right. And we're going to make a couple designs and make a couple shirts here tonight. So probably a little bit more on the, on the training side tonight. However... There will still be the opportunity to earn some spins, okay? Um, does someone have an echo? Does anybody else? I see Kevin said he's getting an echo. Does anybody else have an echo? I haven't seen anybody else mention it. Kevin, maybe log out, log back in. Also, if you get kicked out, okay, no echo, no, okay. Kevin, maybe log out, log back in. Um, the ad's going to be popping up any minute now. Make sure to come back after the ad, okay? Make sure to come back after the ad. The ad will probably kick you out. I don't know why it does it, but um, make sure to come back. Because the more people we have, the more extra bonus spins we get at the end as well. So here's the deal. Right now, I haven't. nobody knows this yet. The website doesn't even know this. You will literally only know this if you are on the live right now, which all of you guys are, Okay. I changed the St. Patty's Day sale, and now, only during the live, all of the designs and packs will be 70% off, instead of 65 like the sale is, okay? So that's first thing, little surprise for you, 70% off only during the live. After I get off the live, I'm going to move them back to 65%, okay? Now... How do we earn the spend tonight? To earn the spend tonight, it's any full artwork pack. However, we also did something else, okay? So, what I did tonight, and let's see if it updated yet, because I just put it on there. Yep, there it is. I made my favorite sports templates the four-pack bundle. Okay, so my four favorite full artwork packs. So if you get the four pack, remember you get four spins, right? And it is 70% off. Okay, so if I were to add this to my cart right now and TikTok, I know you guys can't see. Um, here, actually, come here, TikTok. I got you tonight, TikTok. Let's go. Instagram, I got you too. Let me flip you around for a little bit here. There you go. Now you can somewhat see. Um, so any artwork pack earns a spin, okay? And just to let you know, these are on sale, obviously. So when you bring this four pack to your cart, it's the exact same as what it was last week, which is only... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's $46 a pack. I think that's right. $46 a pack. Seven minutes ago, well, actually, we have the 65% off deal going on right now. But 
this bundle pack did not exist. So even before literally seven minutes ago, this was, on, oh, you guys are starting to get the ad right now. This was, how much is it at 65% off of $200? That's $70. So, yeah, it's, it's the hookup like last week, okay? Now, here's the deal. You do have to get to earn a spin, okay? You do have to get the packs during the live from 8 p.m. until 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, th damn. You did correct me, and I was wrong in a good way. Are they really $39.25 a pack? I thought when I figured it out, it was $46 a pack. Is it really under $40? I'm freaking glad I wasn't a math teacher. That is not... Yeah, I, I need to not be a math teacher. I had it all figured out. Okay, that's $46 a pack. And yeah, okay, I guess it's $39 a pack. 46 would be at the... Oh, you know why? Shoot, I know why now. I did do my math right. Because that was going off the 65% off. And then literally right before the live started, I messaged Pilar and I said, hey, I'm going to make everything 70% off, but only during the live. So even though the top of the website right here says 65% off, you're actually getting 70% off. Yep. So pretty sweet. Okay, so let's go and let's do this. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I am going to get into, now I do have to make one shirt ahead of time, okay? I do have to make one shirt ahead of time for a, um, what if, <clears throat> Linda said, what if we already own two? You know what, Linda? <clears throat> I'll make a deal with you guys. Linda, if you already own two of those four packs, okay, let us, if you purchase that bundle, okay, listen, listen to me out, and this will probably be for a lot of you because some of you may own one of those packs or two of those packs. Here's the deal. Now, you can't just change the packs. However, if you already, like Linda's saying, if you already own two of those four packs, Okay, Linda, if you purchase them, same as Debbie, I already own two, okay, if you purchase that bundle, send us the order number of the two packs that you already have, and if you have purchased those in the past, that means you already have them, okay, and what you can do is you can swap it out for two different ones. Now, you can't just randomly swap them out only like you can't sit buy these four and say I don't want any of these four and I don't have them but I want to get these four instead it's not a free-for-all however if you own three of them or two of them or whatever it is and you can show the order of where you've purchased them already because you're going to instantly here's the reason why you're going to instantly get these packs as soon as you download them so you already have all the files so I don't care if you get the files twice because you've purchased them in the past, right? So we can do that. I can do that. I can, because I know some of you that want to do it, and then you can get something that you don't have. So there you go. That problem solved. All right. So let me actually click on this real quick and just give you an idea of what's on this, and then we will get into making this, okay? Okay. So if you click here, you're going to see everything that's in it. And I can just come over here. This, this is the split image pack. You can see how many there are. There's three different versions of each one. A crazy amount. Anything from sports to trumpets to ping pongs to mics to video games to baseball to beer drinking to heat pressing. Then, this is the live templates. 
volume one, all of the different layouts. This is live templates volume two. Again, all of the different layouts, all the different clip arts. And then live templates volume three, all of these. Okay? So I need to make one. The first one I need to make tonight is actually I need to make one for somebody. And I need to make a hockey shirt. So I'm going to do that one first. Then we'll do another one and we'll accent it with rhinestones. And I'm going to show you how to do all of that within the wizard here. Okay? And then we will see as far as the different packs and stuff. And we'll do some spins and things. Got it? And I got a cool... Have you guys ever used the the metal heat transfer vinyl. The first shirt I need to do, I need to do a matte black with metal, and it's gonna look pretty sweet with the split image pack. Okay, so let's get into starting to create this design, cutting it, pressing it, and going through the process, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm with, I'm using the wizard right now, okay? And, oh, I see what you're saying there, Crystal, thank you. Um, and I'm going to go to open template and I want to open, this is what you would do. Heat press is on. Yes. Thank you, Mary. Um, I'm going to use the split image pack. So it's the TRW 150 split image pack. And that's this one here. Now with this one, I want to do this hockey design right here. Okay. That's the design that they want. So I'm just going to double click on this and they wanted a number, but they did not want a position, okay? So I'm going to get rid of the position there. And I got the number here. If I wanted to, I could probably, might look a little bit better if I throw the number on the side here. I don't know. Where do you think? I'm not thinking really down there. And that's what's cool about this. You have the option to move it all around. I'm thinking I'm going to keep it over here on the black layer because we're going to be putting it onto a white shirt and then it'll pop more, the custom number, okay? Now, to edit this, okay, to edit this within the wizard, I just come over here to the right side and I hit find text and you can see it found the text there, okay? And now this is the Golden Knights, okay? So... They want it to say Golden Knights Youth Hockey. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go Golden. Oh, I want it to be uppercase. So Golden Knights and number 23 and then Youth Hockey. All right, so Golden Knights Youth Hockey. And... You can see any of this, if I wanted that to be a little bit closer, even up a little bit, I can move it around, but the live templates is what makes it so it's so easy to type all of that in, right? Now, if I want to, <coughs> I could make this outside layer of gold. What I could also do is I could break that apart and make the outside layer on this side, on the gold side, black, and on the black side, gold, okay? Now, remember, this is going to use more heat transfer vinyl, right? And what I could also do is if I wanted to make, for example, the text on the bottom gold. I kind of like the text to be all the same color. So I'm going to keep all of the text black, but I am going to go with this alternating colors here, okay? So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit select same color, move it off to the side so I can see it's all good. I'm going to weld that together. Then I'm going to click on both of the golds and I'm going to weld that together. Now the number 23, I want this to pop through the shirt. So I'm going to shift click on the black. I'm going to back minus front and that 23 pops through right there. Now this is going on a men's extra large shirt. Okay. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to get this to literally about 11, probably about 11.2, 11.3 inches. For a men's shirt, I want this to be a pretty big design, especially for a men's extra large. Okay. Now, 
We have this, let's go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna to go to templates and I'm gonna right click on vinyl overcut and there's my color separations right there. All right, so first one I need to cut is the matte black. So I'm gonna to go to launch, cut plot CM4 and I'm gonna be cutting on the graph tech tonight. By the way, do you guys see that there's a deal going on on the graph techs right now where you get a free rhinestone starter kit. But come over here and I saw somebody ask earlier if, yes, if anybody were to get a graph tech tonight during the live, a graph tech during the live, five free spins. Okay, graph tech during the live, you get a free rhinestone starter kit and five free spins. But let's head back here, okay? Golden Knights Youth Hockey. I'm gonna go at a force of about, I'm gonna go about 14. I should be pretty good with the easy weed at a force of about 14, okay? And now I need to go set up my actual machine. So let's head back over here. You guys can come over as well. TikTok and Instagram. Let me get you guys here. TikTok, let me get you guys here. Yeah, we got the Plinko board out again tonight. And let's get here. All right, so this is one thing I like to show people, okay? This is my matte black. Okay, it's 20 inch wide material. This is the 15 inch graph tech. People always ask me, can I cut 20 inch material on the 15 inch graph tech? The answer to that is yes. However, there is a downfall to it. You can only move the material over this much. So technically you're wasting about two inches worth of material there which obviously isn't good, right? Unless you're doing like custom numbers for sleeves or something where you could actually use that. But normally you would want to trim down your 20 inch material a little bit. But again, don't just randomly trim off some material and you're still wasting it, right? All right, so let me just bring this down a little bit here. I'm feeling pretty good there. Let's head over here and now I did not, I did not do a test cut, which I probably should. I always say that I should, but I didn't. So I'm going to send this here at 14. I feel like my force should be pretty good. I'm normally around a 13 to 15 range, depending on my blade. Uh, P3 workshop. Somebody answered a question. Looks like awesome. Question. I won a mini pack a couple weeks ago and still haven't selected my pack. Can I still get my winning mini pack? Um, Kimberly Maine. Yeah. Just let us know. Just shoot an email to info at rhinestoneworld.com. Let them know what live you won the mini pack in. They can verify it and then you just pick your pack. Um, normally we limit it to about two weeks as far as claiming a pack but um shoot an email because it sounds like you were just a couple weeks ago so i am going to do one of the designs tonight a multi-deck design as well which with what a multi-deck design is is that's going to include uh, heat transfer vinyl and rhinestones okay so this one is just going to be heat transfer vinyl for the men's extra large shirt. And as you have questions, even if I don't see your question, just type the questions in and we got a lot of uh, a lot of crew members on here that know most of the answers and they can answer your questions as well. It's always good to have you guys helping me out. All right. That's good there. Let's go ahead and trim this off. And now, before I go into weeding that, I am gonna use my gold metal. This is like a, a mirror, basically, like a gold mirror. Same thing, 20 inch material. And, um, but 
I'm cutting it at an angle. I trimmed it down already a little bit, so I won't waste any on this one. So I'll hit one for front edge. It's going to bring it up here. If someone were to purchase six through nine and four spins, uh, Woody H, yes, and I forgot to mention that because I did have multiple people ask about that. So just to let you guys know, the font packs, the rhinestone font packs are still available on the main page. Hold on, let me start this real quick, Woody, and then I will show you and answer your question. But your, the answer to your question, Woody, is yes, because those are still full artwork packs. Okay, so if I hit done there, and then this is the gold version, launch, cut plot CM4. And now remember, these live templates, you do need the Wizard Corel to get the full functionality of what they can do. Now, this 150 split image pack is much easier to use in softwares like a uh, Silhouette Designer Edition, but it's still not going to have the envelope to easily type the text. You're going to have to retype it. So I'm going to go up to a force of... I'm going to go force of 17 on the metal here and hit send. Okay, now back here, let me show you guys where Woody just asked the question and you will see, doo, 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 I did put them back on the front page right here. The four rhinestone packs still at the deal and you will get four spins with that as well. And it's still the 70% off. Like, was that last week that we did that? All the weeks combined for me. If you have, ooh, that's a great question, Stacy. Um, yes, Stacy. If you have Corel but not the wizard, the answer to that is yes, you can still use the live templates. You just won't obviously have the live template editor off to the right. But within Corel, because you're bringing it in as a CDR file, it'll still have the envelopes and you can just tap on the text and retype it. So the answer to that is yes. All right. Let's scroll down here. And let's bring our cameras over here. Come on over TikTok and Instagram, Instagram, and we're going to be Instagram. I'm going to be logging off in just a minute off of Instagram. So just make sure you head over to YouTube's your best spot. YouTube's where you can earn some spins too. All right. Now it's time to get this weeded. So the pen tool is always my favorite. This material, this metal material, this is literally like butter. Look at this. Look at how easy that peels off. So easy. All right. And then obviously this area here, I'm using that. And now... Let's do the same thing with our Easy Weed Matte Black. Some scraps there. And the Matte Black, I did a force, what was I at? Uh, 14, I think I did for my force of the Matte Black. And again, Easy Weed, hence the name is also really easy to weed, but it's honestly not as easy to weed as the metal. Does, has anybody been around enough? Has anybody been around enough to have used, and I, what did they used to call it back in the day? Um, it might have still been called metal, but the old metal from Caesar that was like a super thick metal, Man, that stuff was an absolute nightmare to weed. So, 
this the new metal is definitely a lot nicer. Is the is Corel the only program you can use? I have Silhouette Business. Um, Corel is the only one that's really going to work well with the live templates, like what I'm doing now. However, the font bundle packs you can use any software because they're just True Type fonts. So, the font bundle pack of the four different packs, any software works with that just for that reason. It's, they're just true type fonts. Think I might have some of the old metal? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think. It's, it's been a little while. It's been at least a few years. It's kind of like, does everybody remember the old brick material? I personally love the old brick. The new brick is 600 microns thick. The old brick was 1,000 microns. And it was a super pain in the butt to, to cut, especially on crickets and uh, cameos. But Graph Tech would cut it really good. And it was like twice as thick as the current brick. And I loved it. It was my favorite material because it gave even more of a 3D effect. Metallic gold. It might have been. It might have been, uh, Erica. Yeah, that sounds right. All right. Heading over to the press here. You guys come on over with me. And like I said, we got a Bella men's. Not very often we drop the men's shirt on the heat press here during the lives, is it? So I'm at 305 to 310 degrees right now for the metal and the easy weed. What's nice about splitting the design the way I did is you get the full design to see and be able to line it up good. So I'm going there. Now remember, the gold's going to be on this side over here. So I want to shift a little bit to the right because the design's going to go out there. Now, all I'm doing, come up here. I look at my armpits, armpit there. I want it down a tiny bit. And... That looks pretty good to me. Again, I'm pushed a little bit to the right side because that gold is going to be there, right? Checking for any weeding issues. All looks good there, and I'm good to go. Now, remember, our first press is a tack press. So on this easy weed, especially this uh, matte black easy weed, I'm only going to go for like two to three seconds on this. So... Golden Knights, all good, and boom, one 1,000, two 1,000. Only place you can check the armpits and it's not weird, right? Look at that. It pulled off perfectly for me. Man, I'm, not, I'm telling you, how many of you guys have used the matte black versus the regular black? The matte black I know it's the same material, but it feels on the shirt so much softer than like the regular. It just feels like super, it almost kind of feels more like a, like our flash reflective. And a lot of you guys know the feel of that. The matte black is by far my favorite color. Like I, any shirt I make for myself and I'm using um, like a, a Caesar heat transfer vinyl, I'm using matte black. All right, so now what I'm going to do, and this is a little trick, is I'm going to trim this kind of close to the edge here. Let me pull it up so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm trimming this kind of close to the edge and who knows why I'm doing this 
What do you guys think? Why would I be doing this little trim on the edge right there? Any reason? Yep. So the way that this design is, okay, and I'll show you, is those, the lines from the carrier sheet were going right through the middle of Golden Knights and right through the middle of youth hockey. So the issue with that is you're going to get, it's, it's pretty hard to honestly not get them. You're going to get little pressing lines. And it's not bad. Like, it, like the, they start to go away. But if you can just get rid of them off the start, I like to just get rid of them. So that looks good there. That looks good there. I'm looking good with this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and... Throw a little cover sheet on here. And we're good to go. So, press. What's up, Crystal Parkinson? Glad you caught it, too. So, have you guys gotten that before? The little press lines? And if you're using, like, a glitter heat transfer vinyl, you don't need to worry about it. Okay, because glitter's got that texture and stuff to it that it doesn't matter. But if you're using a thin material, like an easy weed, that's where you'll see those little lines. So I never, and the next one we'll do is, we'll do it in glitter. I never do it with glitter, okay? I only do that, look at that gold already looking sweet. So, this is a cool peel. So, I'm letting this cool down a little bit. I'm very impatient when it comes to cool peels. I always try and cheat and get it early. See, I'm just kind of rolling it off. Boom. And look at that metallic gold. The metallic gold is so nice looking. So with that matte, mixed in with that matte black and the nice thing about the newer metallic gold is it is a lot softer than the old metallic gold. It has more give to it, where the old one was like super stiff, and it wouldn't even really bend. Um, this new metallic gold wash is nice. Um, the old metallic gold, not as much. Yeah, it's super shiny. And that's one of the biggest issues with the old metallic gold was the wash. Where this, this kind of has more of a feel similar to, almost similar to like um, the um, foil. Almost similar to the foil. And there's, we have a few different colors in it. And then the matte black just always looks good. But it's really cool to do the big contrast between the super shiny and then the matte. All right. Oh, you know what I found? I, I literally was walking in my daughter's room and in her closet, this was standing out. Now, we aren't allowed to make this, okay? I made this for her when she was... Oh man, I would say it had to have been four, five, 
I think she was maybe 12, probably four or five years ago. But I wanted to show you this because this, even though it's something you guys can't make, okay, even though it's something you guys can't make or sell, right? Uh, well, they won it in 2016, but I made it later. Um, this is one of the templates in the Sports Live template pack. I think this is volume one. Let's go, Kevin. Yes, Cubbies. Kevin, you know I got all my Cubby stuff up here. Go Cubs. Cubs. Cubs everywhere. So, yes, I made a Cubs design for my daughter. All right. But the reason why I wanted to show you that, this is one of the templates in the packs. All right. So now... Let's head back here and let's knock out one more. Now it's 8.37. We still got plenty of time. Remember, you have until 9.30 to get your order in to earn spins. Um, the live templates, Angela, are made for Corel users. You are correct. <laughs> I know, right, Pilar? I'm sure. All right, let's flip back over here. So, the next one, <coughs> here's what I need. I need to see what colors I have. Okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I have a white shirt. I have some... And that. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. All right. I need you guys to give me, I want to show you how you customize these things. I need you guys to give me a, a team name, a sport, and two colors. Team name, a sport, and two colors. What do you got? Kevin, <laughs> you're a Sox fan. You know what? Kevin, you'll love this. You know who was over at the house? Kevin, being a Sox fan, do you know who was over at my house two days ago? If you're a big Sox fan, think of one of the biggest Sox players. And I'm looking at the different colors to find one. Think of a big White Sox player, a big one. All right, let me see, let me see colors wise. Do, 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 do. No, not Bo, but that very similar and friends with Bo. Um, very big, think, oh, there it is. I see you, Anthony. The big hurt. Yes, Frank Thomas was over at my house. His son plays on Jackson's, his son goes to school with Jackson and plays on his team. The big hurt was over here. It was pretty cool. He's a big dude. I talk to him all the time now. I've, I've become pretty good friends with him. All right, I'm still looking at, um, I'm still looking at colors because I have, I'm going to pick the one of colors that I have here. And I have two colors picked out. And the first person that I see that uses these colors. Dun, dun, dun. Scrolling up. I'm scrolling around. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Uh, 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 uh. Still, they still have their house in Chicago. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay, let's just do it this way. Because I'm not seeing a bunch of them. And there's so many coming through. 
I need someone that wants black and gold. Let's just do it that way. Black and gold, and then give me the sport and the team name. Oh, you know what? Ooh, ah, ba ba. I wonder if I have. No, I don't have any of that color either. Dang it. Ooh. Possibly. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, I do. I do have some of that color. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Coming back. Coming back. Looking for colors again. Man, this is so difficult. There's so many of you. Here. Angela Wilson. Angela Wilson. Angela wants Panthers football, orange and black. Angela Wilson, Panthers football, orange and black. Let's do it. All right, Pilar, will you write down Angela Wilson? Angela Wilson, here we go. Panthers football, orange and black. So I am going to do this. And just to show you guys how to do a live template and then how to accent it with rhinestones. And a lot of you guys, especially at trade shows, have seen me do this one before. This is one of the more popular ones that I do. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to find my live templates, volume three. Okay. And I'm going to use this one here that has the three color live text. Um, Angela. Ooh, this will actually be good. So... Angela just wanted Panthers football, okay? But what if Angela didn't want a top name? Which makes sense, okay? And a lot are like that. So watch what you have the option to do here. And I'm going to show you how you could do this. Braden River. I'm going to delete that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here, double click, highlight, Drag, drop, weld. And now that connected that. And then I can just get rid of those extra nodes. So that's super easy to do. Now, um, Angela, if you want some type of team name or something up there, let me know. I can. However... I just like to show you that you don't have to. So now we're going to come over here, find text on the right hand side, and um, what did I forget how to spell? I'm I'm sure I spelt something wrong. I didn't see what it was. So click on Pirates, and I'm going to go Panthers, Panthers, <laughs> Panthers. They get a small, oh yeah, some, a Samil spin. Jean Lamont, let's go. Jean, Jean Lamont lived down here too. I've met him many times. All right, we got Panthers. We got to change the soccer ball to football. Okay, soccer ball to football. So let's go to change artwork. You didn't know I knew Jean Lamont, did you, Kevin? And let's go to, actually, I want to add artwork or change artwork, either way, okay? If I go to change artwork, I'm going to look under all of my actual clip art, and then I'm going to search football. And you guys will get, not all of this clip art, but the football that I'm going to use here, you guys get in the packs. All right? So, there we go. 
We got our football, and then I'm going to change soccer to football as well. All right. Um, Overbook Panthers. Okay, there we go. Now, what if we've already made these change, but then we need to come back and do this, okay? Here's what I would do with this. I would hit Control-C to copy, and then I would go Control-Z and just go back. Z, 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 and I'm just keep hitting Control-Z all the way back to there. Got it? And then... What I could do is delete all of that, control V to paste, and now we're back to that original. Now, obviously, we want to get it all the way back to where it had the Braden River text too, right? So, now that we have the text there, I can get rid of these extras, control V, and get rid of that piece there. All right, now we wanted, what was it? Um, OSU Cowboys. What's up, Kim Johnson? Overbrook. So, find text, and I'm going Overbrook. Overbrook Panthers, home of Wilt Chamberlain. Let's go. I'm not as, obviously I know Wilt Chamberlain, but I'm not as, I'm not as good with basketball as I am baseball. Okay, now colors we said, what did we say we were gonna do? We were gonna do orange, and I wonder if we did something even a little bit different. What if we did, let's think here. Um, I've had a few people ask that as well. Could you do just a single color layer like this and then just make it bigger? Yeah, honestly, you could. And you could even, check this out, move this down a little bit. And then you could also change that to whatever the color you want is. So yeah, you can easily do that. You can adjust these templates to really whatever you want. Okay, but we're going to stick with this because this... Obviously, it looks pretty nice here. Now, I want to add rhinestones around this football, okay? I want to add rhinestones around the football. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the word football because I don't want this to get messed up. I'm going to take this football right here. I'm going to go to my magic tab, okay? And I want to come over here to my stone outline. Uh-oh, I got, went outside of this area. What do I got? Let me go here. I was just working on some stuff on the 6. Did you see my 5.0 was looking weird right there? There we go. Okay. Highlight. Merge three color live text. That fixed all of that, right? Now it's cut ready. 70% off wizard too. <laughs> yeah. That part, the wizard's never been 1% off. And then... With this, always make sure it's the top layer, okay? You can see it's the top layer there, right? So if we do a stone outline, look what it did. With one click of a button, it added those stones perfectly and knocked out that different areas right there. So that's good to go. And then we just take the word football, move it back up a little bit, and we're good to go, okay? Let's see what size this is. 9.7, what if you said, oh man, I want to make this design a little bit bigger. No worries. Watch, control Z back, okay? Highlight your design again. Let's make it 10 inches and then resize my workspace. Head over here and we can just do a stone outline again. So maybe 9.7 was a little bit too small and you want a little bit bigger? There you go, and that's ready to go. Now let's check out our colors. So we want this part, weld it together, make sure I have it all. Ooh, remember us in the Hall of Fame the other night? Why you always see me move it? Okay, there, and we're gonna say we want this to be a Caesar glitter, and we want that to be our copper orange. And then this one, select same color, 
Let's get all of the black. We want that to be a black glitter. And then these are going to be crystal stones. So highlight it all. What if you wanted this to be a little bit smaller glitter? Boom, you can just click on that little area right there. Make the glitter look a little bit smaller, right? Boom, looks a little bit nicer. Highlight, mock-ups, women's, simulate stones, and guess what? There it is perfectly on my shirt with my rhinestones and everything. Pretty nice, right? <clears throat> okay, so now, anytime you go into the cutting phase, take it off of the glitter colors, okay? Now, I'm hoping this does what we were talking about in the Hall of Fame the other day. Let me see. Templates, final overcut, uh, it did it perfect. I was honestly hoping it would mess up, but it didn't. And these are my three cuts. There's my rhinestones. This right here is my orange glitter. And then this here is my black glitter. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our glitters lined up. And let's get this thing cut. Um, where are we at time-wise? We're, we're not even at 9 o'clock yet. We're good. All right, let me move you guys over here. And now this will out, honestly be a really good test here. So just so you guys know, both of the glitters that I'm using tonight, if, yep, that one I know is, this one definitely is too. So both of these glitters that I'm using tonight, I would say are probably over over two years old being stored in my house here over two years but i like to do this because then you can see if okay is it more difficult to weed it is it so i would say at least maybe even maybe even older than two years so what we use for orange is the copper glitter and that's the best color by far for the orange. So let's get this ready to cut. And for the orange, we're doing the outside layer. Okay, so highlight, launch, cut plot CM4. Now I want this one, let's see. We're gonna go a force of 20. I think that should, I'm gonna go 21. Go in a force of 21, we'll see. I'm normally a little bit less on the force with the graph tech on the glitter. However, being the older glitter, I would rather cut a little deeper versus not enough. And I'm going to grab my weeding tool here just to be able to kind of test it out as it finishes. I can see good cut lines here, which is always good. It's not cutting all, all the way through, which is always good. So I think this is going to be a pretty good force here. Um, what's Matt's definition of soon? Um, Brian, you know, soon is my favorite word because soon could be at nine o'clock, five minutes from now, or soon could be five years from now. Like everybody's definition of soon is different, but you're not committing to anything. So soon is a very functional word. It will be done soon. <laughs> no, I can't even say soon on soon I will discount the wizard. Because that means if I do say soon, it's going to happen at some point. Okay? It will happen at some point. However, it will... That won't happen with the wizard. So I can't even say soon with discounting the wizard. 
All right, so I do want to, like I said, just check this real quick. Okay, that's peeling up nice. Let's see where my first cut is. Uh, that was pretty nice. I got a little edge here, but that's that super sharp edge, which is always going to be the more difficult part. Okay, I think that's weeding pretty good, so I'm good. So now I'm going to come back. I'm using the Galaxy Black. Um... The Galaxy Black is awesome. What do you guys like better, the regular black glitter or the Galaxy Black? The Galaxy Black just, it adds, it, it's black, obvious, obviously, but it it just adds those that extra kind of little, like, Galaxy glitter color, which looks really nice. I'm a fan of the Galaxy over the regular. All right, so let's highlight, launch, cut plot CM4, and same force of 21. Now let's come over here and let's weed these. So this... I gotta be careful with weeding this because I know there are some super small areas that come up through here. So, that looks good there. Okay. That looks good there. It is weed, oh yeah. Look at that. That came off really nice right there. Let's see the inside of these O's. Those are some small little cuts, but are coming up perfectly. These little areas right here are where the pen tool Oh, man. I'm not going to lie, Kevin. I would never... I, I, I've always said never. I'll make a deal. I can't say what the percentage would be. If the Cubs win the World Series this year, I'll discount the Wizard. Number one is I'll bet any amount of money probably that the Cubs ain't winning the World Series this year. So I would say I'm pretty safe on this bet either way. And... If they do win the World Series, then technically, if I discounted the Wizard one penny, then it would be discounted and I would be truthful, right? So, there is that. But, yeah, the Cubs ain't winning the World Series. I am a Cubs fan. I'm rooting for them to win the World Series. I would be ecstatic if they just made the playoffs. Which I don't think is happening either. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm taking my time a little bit on this because there's some really, really small areas. And I'll show them to you here in just a minute. But the thing is, oh my goodness, I don't even know how I got that. The thing is, is you got to know where these areas are before you get to them. P-A-N, what's this, a T, right? Look at, you guys got to see this. How the hell did it weed that? Look at that. Can you guys see that little area right there that actually weeded? Wow. That was honestly pretty dang impressive. I was expecting to miss that spot, honestly. Hey, anybody got an update for me on the um, 
on the Japan Mexico game. What's the score of the World Baseball Classic game? It's got me. Who's got me for a score update? I'm just moving the heat press up a little bit, temperature wise. Um, if they win, you'll put 15. Oh, absolutely not, Crystal. I would lose all my pride then. <laughs> oh, I could not put in. Uh, the only way I could put a name that way on a tumbler is if I was doing a headstand. That's the only way. <laughs> and I'm not good at headstands. <laughs> He's ignoring you. That's honestly the first time I saw it. But yeah. Headstands it. Really? Mexico's up 3 nothing? Oh my goodness, what inning? Man. Japan was supposed to easily win that game. That's good for the U.S. Now they don't have to face you, Darvish. And I am still going to cut a little thing of mag Magic Flock, too. Um, I will. I will do that. I will, but here's the thing. Like... All of these things that we're saying, the only punishment is for me. But, no, I guess the benefit for me is the Cubs win the World Series. So, I'm good with that. I'll, I'll put that on record right now. If the Cubs win the World Series this year, if the Cubs win the World Series this year, I will say coupon for one year instead of coupon. For one year. Not forever. Unless the Cubs win the World Series every year. I will say coupon for one year. Deal. And how about this though, Crystal? If they don't win the World Series, then you need to make your tumblers the right way. Mm, I bet you won't take that bet. Then you'll say it wrong for a year. Yes, I will. <laughs> this, uh, this glitter, for being as old as it is, is honestly weeding much better. Much better than I thought it would. It's, it's honestly weeding the exact same as I feel like if it were new glitter. I really don't notice any difference of it being a year old or two, year, two years old. At least. I'm saying at least two years old. This little area right here is a tough cut, but it even got that. Yes. Let's go. Got those laces nice. If they don't win... <laughs> You're looking for an excuse to take a year off of crafting. Because <laughs> they ain't winning. Now, if they, I'm more of a, if they don't win, you have to say coupon and you have to put the Tumblr names on correctly. That's a bet I'll take. I'll even do that if... No, I can't do that part. Because there's a prayer that they could make the playoffs. Cool pan. <laughs> All right.
checking it out real quick. Oh yeah, it's looking nice. Let me show you guys what we're looking like. That's looking really nice. All right, now I do need to cut. I should have had it going while I was um, weeding that. I do need to cut the magic clock real quick. All right, good there. And then we are good to go. And we should be done in the next, uh, uh, probably five minutes or so. So heading back over to my screen here, I wanna cut this here. So launch, cut plot. And let's go speed of 60, force of, we'll go probably 28 and quality of three. Oh my goodness, Kevin, it's ridiculously faster than the Cricut. Like, like we were saying the other day, it's the comparison like between a car and a kick scooter, right? Car and a kick scooter is the difference. And the streak stays alive. Perfect weed. Now this is where when we're putting on a white shirt, I love to use crystal rhinestones. Crystal rhinestones on a white shirt as an accent are by far the best look. You don't want to try and put like orange stones on this design with orange glitter. You never want to match your stones with your glitter. It just, it doesn't look good. How do you know when what goes bad, Kevin? All right, now I need a little hot fix tape. Boom. Um, the reason why you don't want to match them, if that's what you guys are asking, is it just doesn't look good. Like if I would have put orange glitter, if I would have put orange, orange rhinestones around the football right here, it, it just doesn't look good. It like stands out too much where the crystal stones just provide that perfect accent that you're looking for. And that's, that's the biggest thing. That's all this is, is an accent piece. Now, I just made a little move there. So I shifted some of the stones. So instead of fixing them, this is another good little trick for you guys. I shifted some of the stones where I took it off there. So instead of fixing them with tweezers, I put the stones back onto, I put the transfer tape back onto the actual template, and then I just push the stones back into the hole. And it's way quicker than using tweezers. All right. Now let's go ahead and press this shirt. What's up, TikTok? I haven't completely forgotten about you, TikTok. I got you. All right, so shirt we're using for this. Um, vinyl, I'm not going to lie. Vinyl's pretty difficult to go bad. <clears throat> but, for example, when you can see that a glitter's starting to go bad normally is when it rips a lot. Like when you're just pulling a big area and it just rips. <coughs> you can still use it. <clears throat> but, and the adhesive is normally still good. However, you, um, it takes a lot longer to weed it, which is a pain. All right. So I'm going to start with the orange layer here because it's my biggest layer and get this lined up. Is there an opening in there? There's not. Good. Okay, so again, 
Checking the armpits. That looks pretty good there. You guys know me. I'm good with pretty good. Overbrook Panthers. Boom. Let's go. Quick press. Two to three seconds. That's it, Kevin. Exactly. It basically, it gets kind of brittle. Slowly peel that off. We didn't go the full press, so you always make sure that it adhered right. Now we're going to come back with the Galaxy Black here. Good, good, good. I have the, the carrier sheet going over some of the text, but like I said, it doesn't matter with glitter. Um, Lisa, that's a great question. And the answer to that question is you are correct. You cannot put rhinestones directly on top of glitter. Which is exactly why, and you'll see here, we're not. We're accenting the design with rhinestones. So the rhinestones are actually going, as you can see here, directly onto the shirt. So none of these rhinestones are touching any of the glitter heat transfer vinyl. And you are correct. You do not want to layer rhinestones directly on top of heat transfer vinyl. It will stay on off the start, but as they're washing it, the stones will come off eventually. Then you can use your hot fix tape to get the bling hair that was on there. Let's bring this over here to show you what we got. Oh, yeah. Always looks so good with the rhinestone accent. Come on over. The rhinestones you can peel hot. All right. And there we go. So see how the accent, the stones just accent the design and the glitters and how nice that looks. Um, the vinyl is a hot peel too. Glitter heat transfer vinyl is also a hot peel. So that's it. It's, it's not a crazy accent. It's not overwhelming. It's like Liz said, it's a very subtle accent. But... A five to seven dollar upcharge with maybe 15 cents in vinyl. The glitter heat transfer vinyl is the Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl on the website. It's pretty sweet looking, isn't it? So that shirt is for Angela. Angela, congrats. It's looking sweet. How much would I charge for this shirt? This, that's a great question. So, a two-color design like this one, okay, without rhinestones, fully custom, meaning I did a custom colors, custom team name, everything, right? Without rhinestones, just using the glitter, I used to charge anywhere from $25 to $30 for this, okay? As soon as I added rhinestones, like I said, that was a anywhere from a $5 to $7 upcharge. And the reason why I give those ranges is some events I would go to, I would have to charge $25. Some events I could get away with and charge $30, $35. So this shirt here with the stones, I would normally be around $35 for a full custom for making one. Now, if they order 10 for all the moms on the team, obviously we can discount it from there. All right? 
All right, well, let's head over to the computer here and answer any questions that you guys have and get ready for the spin wheel. Because I'm sure that we have some spins tonight. Which pack is that design in? That design is in, and I will show you. Hold on, give me one second. Okay, the design that we just did is in this big bundle here, okay? This big bundle here, and remember, it's 70% off, so you actually get this entire bundle for, what, what did we say it was, like $36 per pack? And that design is in the Live Templates Magic Cut Edition, Live Templates Volume 3. The Cubs design is in the Live Templates Volume 1. And then that hockey design is in the Split Image Pack. So all three designs that I showed tonight are within these packs as well. Okay? Now, remember, you have until 9.30, okay? Anybody that purchases, okay, anybody that purchases, you know what, and Pilar, because we went so long with the training side of it, um, Pilar, we can go to 9.45 tonight. So, any orders from 8 p.m. until 9.45 p.m., okay, so that's another, what, 15... 25, 27 minutes, okay? So to qualify for a spin, all you need to do is, and the 70% off, even though the website only says 65% off, all designs are 75% off, okay? All designs are 75% off. So any of you who down the road, honestly, like, this is a better deal than what we did on Black Friday for this four-pack here. So, even anybody that says, you know what, my goal is to buy the Wizard and Corel a month from now. A month from now, you won't be able to get this bundle pack like this at that price. 70% off, not 65. All right? So, we got that. Um, these are the four. Oh, so... Any if you get the bundle pack of four, then technically you get four spins like we did last week. But to qualify for just a regular, just one spin, you would go to designs, full pack designs, and then any of these packs. So some of these packs can also be used with the Cricut as well, okay? Like all of the font packs that we did last week. And those are... I did put those back on the website. So those are right here. And this is all 133 rhinestone fonts. I know, Kim, the website says, and I'll tell you why on that. The website says 65% off, okay? Because right after I get off this live, I'll give you about 15 minutes or so, I'm moving it back to 65% off. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to change all the stuff on the website when it's only going to be 70% off during the live. Okay. Our spins for design purchase for tonight, Becky, yes. Any artwork pack purchases are a spin. So if you got this four pack, you get four spins. If you got the new four pack, then you get four spins. If you get one individual pack, then you get one spin. Got it? All right. Are we ready to uh, roll on a few spins? And as you ask questions, or as, as I'm going, um, definitely let me know as far as questions. Um, what's on the wheel tonight? Okay. What is on the wheel tonight is 
Almost the same as last night, except, or last week, except I added, I did add a 10, well, this one was supposed to be a 20. Hold on. Where is my, here we go. So this one was supposed to be a 20. Okay. So we got one mini pack, two mini packs, a rhinestone font, a Plinko drop, a mini pack, a rhinestone font, a 10 gross of diamond cut SS10 crystal, mini pack, two mini packs, rhinestone font, another Plinko drop, mini pack, rhinestone font, and a 20 gross or 10, two 10 grosses of diamond cut crystal SS10 rhinestones, okay? Plinko drops are what they were last week. One mini pack, two mini packs, a full artwork pack, $200 value. Three mini packs, two mini packs, and one mini pack. Got it? So to get the Plinko drop, you have to land on that for the small wheel spin. And there's... So if someone were to get a Plinko drop right now, boom, they just got three mini packs. They just got two mini packs. They just got two mini packs. Plinko drop's always a big winner. And then they get one. All right, we ready to roll? I think we're ready. So let me get that there. Let me see if I can put my board up here. And let's get it. All right, come on. You guys can come over here, TikTok and Instagram. Let's see if I can get out wide enough here so you can see something. That's not bad right there. All right, all right. Okay, we starting with, okay, Carol. Carol's got two spins from last week, right? Order 713. Let's go. First of the night, 713. We got Carol DeLong starting it off. And Carol's got two spins, right? All right, Carol, here we go. Two spins for Carol. Starting it off. Let's go. Spin number one. Carol, you got yourself a rhinestone font. And spin number two. Carol, <laughs> big winner. Let's go. 20 gross of diamond cut crystal SS10 stones that will ship with your next order. So, 20 gross DC crystal. That's a nice one, Carol. Big winner early. Big winner early. All right. Let me go over here, pull up the different orders, and we will get going here. Um, Pilar, what's the first order? 254? I'm going to try and pull it up so I can kind of see them a little bit too. Is 254 the first one? 254 Sonia P, a four pack? Let's see, let's see. 254. Gotcha.
Boom. Can we explain qualifying? Or yes. So to qualify to get a spin, okay? To qualify to get a spin, you need to order a full artwork pack on the website, and it'll automatically discount it seventy percent. And every full artwork pack that you order, okay, every full artwork pack that you order is worth one spin. So, Sonia Perez two five four. How many spins did you say for Sonia? Sonia got a four pack. Let's go. Two five four. Sonia P. Four spins. Here we go. Spin number one. Two mini packs. Spin number two. A rhinestone font. Spin number three. Another rhinestone font. So now we're at two mini packs and two rhinestone fonts. And spin number four. Another mini pack. So Sonia's got three. I'm not even going to do that. We're going to go three mini and two stone fonts. Let's go, Sonia. Congratulations. All right, next, after Sonia, we got order number, which one is next? 259? Linda B. with a four pack. Let's go. 259. Linda B. with a four pack. Let's go. One rhinestone font. Too many packs in one rhinestone font. Two mini packs and two rhinestone fonts. Two more mini packs. So, Linda, you got four mini packs and two rhinestone fonts. Four mini, two stone fonts. Let's go. All right. Next, we got 263 Laquita G with one spin. Let's go, Laquita. 263. Laquita G. One spin, here we go. Laquita, you got two mini packs of choice. Man, two mini packs are on fire tonight. Next order, we got 274. 274. What? Pilar, I see a 267. Make sure on your search, Pilar, that you don't have new selected. And it just has the date. I'm seeing a 267 Woody H for a four pack. 267. 267 Woody H four pack. Let's go. Woody, starting with a mini pack. Woody. First Plinko drop of the night. Let's go, Woody. We got a mini pack and two more mini packs. Woody's up to three mini packs. Two more mini packs. Woody's up to five mini packs. And another six mini packs. Six mini packs for Woody. Let's go. All right. Next, I'm seeing Gretchen. Order 268. 
Gretchen for a four pack. Pilar, is that what it was? Did it still say new? We got Gretchen W, 268. Gretchen W, 268 for a four pack. Let's go. Gretchen, starting out with the 20 gross of diamond cut crystal stones. That's a good start. Next. A 10 gross of diamond. Oh my goodness, Gretchen's on fire right now. That's a 30 gross of diamond cut crystal SS10. Thirty gross and one rhinestone font. Thirty gross and another. So Gretchen got a thirty gross of DC crystal and two stone fonts. That's a big win right there, Gretchen. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's see, next. How much would the cost of a full artwork normally be? Donna, yes. The normal price of a full artwork pack, one pack is $199. All right, so next we got after, what was that one? That was Gretchen 268. Now we're moving up to what's Tiffany got here? Or 274? Michael J with a spin. Let's go. 274, Michael J. Michael J, one spin. Let's get it. Michael J, mini pack of choice. Let's go. And then next, we got Tiffany coming up here. Oh, Tiffany. Tiffany got the graph tech. Let's go, Tiffany. So with the graph tech, like I said, Tiffany gets five spins for getting the graph tech bundle. Five spins for Tiffany. And what was the order number for Tiffany? 283. Two, eight, three. Tiffany Durr. All right, Tiffany, you got five spins. Let's go. Tiffany, starting off with the Plinko board. Let's go. All right, Tiffany, what we got here? Let's get it. Too many packs. To start it off, Tiffany. Here we go. Spin number two. A 10 gross of diamond cut crystal. Tiffany's going to do good here, I think. So, so far we got two mini and 10 gross. Spin number three. Another mini pack. So we got three minis. Spin number four. A 20 gross. We're up to a 30 gross of diamond cut. And spin number five, another mini pack. So we got, Tiffany, you got four mini packs and a 30 gross of diamond cut stones. Nice. That will go wonderfully with your new graph tech. All right. Moving on, Tammy. Tammy got three 
order number 292. Tammy got one, two, three artwork packs. Yes, you can put it on the board. Yes. Let's go, Tammy J. Tammy J starting off with a 10 gross of diamond cut. J A M M I E. Um, 292. Tammy J. Starting off with a 10 gross of diamond cut. Got two more spins. Tammy got a rhinestone font. One more spin. And Tammy got a 20 gross of diamond cut. Oh my goodness. So we got 30 gross of diamond cut stones. Jeez. And one stone font. We've given away already 30, 60, 90, 110 gross of diamond cut stones already tonight. 110 gross of diamond cut stones already. All right. Next, we have order number 296. 296 is Keith M for a four pack. Two nine six. Keith M for a four pack. Let's go. Keith starting out with a mini pack. Spin number two. Two more mini packs. We're up to three. Spin number three. A ten gross of diamond cut. Three mini packs and a ten gross of diamond cut. Two more mini packs. Keith, you got five mini packs and a 10 gross of diamond cut stones. Keith, congratulations. All right, moving on, 297. Megan, a four pack plus one. Megan W, four pack plus one. 297. Megan W. Five spins. Here we go. Spin number one, mini pack of choice. Spin number two, a rhinestone font. Spin number three, a second rhinestone font. Spin number four, another mini pack. So we got two mini packs, two rhinestone fonts. Spin number five, another mini pack. We got three mini packs, three mini and two stone fonts. Boom, let's go. All right, moving on to number. Dun, 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 dun. 302? No. Is it 306? 306, right? Yes. Thanks, Plark. All right. 306, Sonia Perez. Sonia P, we got... Three o six, Sonia P. We got one spin for Sonia. Let's get it. Plinko, 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 plinko. Ooh, ten gross of diamond cut stones. Let's go. Ten gross of DC stones. Oh, by the way, just so you guys know, with the St. Patty's Day sale, you do get with a purchase of magic flock you get a 50 gross of korean low leg crystal stones next 307 we got stacy m for a four pack 307 307 stacy m four spins here we go 
Spin number one, mini pack of choice. Spin number two, another mini pack of choice. Spin number three, a rhinestone font. Spin number four, a 10 gross of diamond cut stones. So, two mini packs, a rhinestone font, and a 10 gross of diamond cut stones. So, two mini. One, I'm just going to put font, and 10 gross DC. we got to start to shorten it up a little bit. All right. After that, we got, what's up, Kim Finley? 308, four spins. Let's go. 308. Kim F. Here we go. Let's go, Kim. Rhinestone font to start it off. Here we go. 10 gross of diamond cut stones. Let's go. Ooh, almost another one. Two rhinestones fonts and one 10 gross. Let's go the other way. A 20 gross. Let's go, Kim. 30 gross of diamond cut crystal stones and two rhinestone fonts. 30 gross DC and two fonts. That's a big winner. All right. 309, Debbie Woods in the house. It's the Hall of Fame crew. 309. Debbie, let's go. Debbie's got a four pack. Spin number one. Plinko, Plinko, Plinko. Here we go. Debbie, two mini packs. To start it off. Another mini pack. You're up to three. A rhinestone font. Three rhinestone fonts. Or three mini packs and one rhinestone font. And another mini pack. Four minis. And... One stone font. Debbie, congratulations. Next, we got another Debbie. Debbie P. Debbie P for a four pack. 311. 311. Debbie P, here we go. Four pack. Hey, we only have, well, you guys got one minute left to get your order in to qualify for spins. 9.45, I said. Okay, Debbie starting out with one mini pack. You got one minute left to get your order in. We got two mini packs, so that's three total. Another mini pack, that's four. And... Another mini pack. Debbie P, five mini packs. Congrats. All right. So we got 313, then we got 314. Let's see, let's see. Do, 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 do. I gotta refresh my page here too. Oh, Mary Alice, it is the Hall of Fame crew. Mary Alice, 314, order 314, 314, and we got Mary Alice for a four pack. 
Mary, starting with the Plinko board. Let's go. Plinko it up. Ah, one mini pack. All right. Still three more spins. Two mini packs. Now we're up to three. Another mini pack. Now we're up to four. And a rhinestone font. Four mini packs. Four mini. And one font. Congrats, Debbie. Oh no, tie game. Japan came back. Is that what you were saying for Mo? All right, next. 315 Crystal P. Four pack. 315, 315, Crystal P for a four pack, let's go. Starting with the mini pack. Plinko, Plinko. Ah, another mini pack, that's two mini packs. Two more mini packs. We're up to four. And another mini pack. Crystal P, five mini packs. That's a winner right there. All right. Next, we were just at, we just did what? 315. So, three. Mexico still 3 nothing. bottom of the 7th. Holy cow. That's going to be huge. So, oh. Debbie P. Bundle. Four pack. Debbie P. Oh, Debbie P. Round 2. Let's go, Debbie P. 316. Debbie P, let's go. Let's get a Plinko this time. One rhinestone font. Got to get a bigger spin than one. Two mini packs. All right, that was better. Two mini packs, one rhinestone font. Another mini pack, three mini packs. Three mini packs, one rhinestone font, four mini packs in one rhinestone font. So Debbie, the exact same as what you got last time. You are in a mini pack world, Debbie. And one font. Let's go. You are gonna have a good amount of designs with your mini packs. All right. <clears throat> Next, three, 20, where are you at? Oh, end of the seventh, it's tied 3-3. Three, three. Oh man, they did come back, huh? Wow. Claudette Carr, is that where we're at, Pilar, for a four pack? Yep, 323. There we go. 323. Claudette, let's go. Claudette for four spins. Spin number one, 20 gross of diamond cut. That's a good start right there, Claudette. Spin number two, Plinko. Oh boy. Let's go, Claudette. Let's go, Claudette. Let's freaking go. Hold on. Let me get situated here. We got a Plinko drop. Three mini packs, three more. So Claudette's got a 20 gross of diamond cut plus three mini packs right now. And a rhinestone font. And another rhinestone font. 
three mini packs, two rhinestone fonts, and then 20 gross of stones. So we got three mini, one font, and 20 gross DC. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can still see the board a little bit too. You see it a little bit there, right? All right. Here, let me go this way more and up a little bit. Maybe like that. See a little bit. All right. Who we got next? That was 323. Next, we got 325. Maria P for one spin. 325. Maria P for one spin. Here we go. Maria Plinko drop with your one spin. Let's go. Big winner for the night. Let's go. Two mini packs. Two mini packs for Maria P. Two mini. 327. Lisa W for a spin. 327. Lisa W. Here we go. Lisa, another Plinko. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Lisa. Dun, 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 dun. We have our first big winner of the night. First big winner of the night. Full artwork pack for Lisa. Full artwork pack for Lisa. One full pack. Lisa with a big dub. All right, next we got, let's see, that was three, two, seven. So three, three, one, we got Donna S for one spin. Three, three, one. Donna S, here we go. The one spins have been getting all Plinkos. Ooh, close, rhinestone font. One font. There we go. I think we're getting close here. Next, I got three, three, three. Twyla S for a four pack. Three, three, three. Twyla S for a four pack. Here we go. Twyla starting off with a Plinko drop. Thus has hit the fan. We got another full pack winner on our first spin of four. Spin number two, two mini packs. One full pack, a rhinestone font, and another run. So, two mini packs, two rhinestone fonts, and a full artwork pack. Two mini packs, a rhinestone font. and a full artwork pack. Boom. That's a big win right there. Oh, Mexico just took the lead back. Wow. All right, next. 
After our big winner, you are very welcome, Twyla. Let's see, let's see. We got order number... Hmm. Yeah, the website's going to be very slow right now. 338, Pilar, is that where you were? Oh, I see what I just did. Um, let's go here. Date. Three three eight. Cheryl A for a four pack. Got it. Three three eight. Cheryl A. Cheryl A for a four pack. Here we go. One rhinestone font. Another rhinestone font. Two mini packs. And another rhinestone font. So Cheryl, you got two mini packs and three fonts. Cheryl, congratulations. Two mini packs and three fonts. And then we're getting close here. We're getting close. Looks like we got three, four, five. Kevin M for a four pack. Three, four, five. Kevin M for a four pack. Here we go. Two mini packs. A 10 gross of diamond cut. Another mini pack. Three mini packs. A 10 gross of diamond cut. And a Plinko drop. Three mini packs. A 10 gross of diamond cut. Did you see that damn thing hop? Right on over to the full pack. It literally went like this. It hopped in there and then did that. Big winner. Kevin, three mini packs, a 10 gross of diamond cut, and a full artwork pack. Three mini, 10 gross diamond cut, and one full pack. Let's go. And I think, was that the last one there? For time-wise? Are we good? Up to time? I think so. Awesome. Let's go. All right. So, <clears throat> let me, I'm going to put this here, just so you guys can kind of see it for a second. I'll actually scroll down it, just so you guys can see. If, I don't think anybody got missed tonight. If anybody did get missed, just let us know. Perfect. All right. Let me switch over to here. And um, but, but, but where were we at 
with, um, I haven't done this before, but yes, correct, correct. Um, the, the reason why you're seeing the bigger discount is because during the live right now, it's 70% off. <clears throat> okay? All the designs are 70% off. Once the live's over, I'm going to switch it back to 65% off. Correct. All right. Any questions before we finish up? 10 o'clock on the dot. That's pretty good. Do I even get to catch the last inning of the game? Has it started the ninth inning yet? That would be sweet too. Um, how long does it take to learn? You know what, Kevin? Nobody is ever going to learn everything with the wizard. That's what's kind of cool about it as well. There's so much stuff with the wizard that it's honestly hard to learn it all, which is a good thing. And that's why, honestly, like I, I explain this to everybody is... And again, it's extra money. Okay, I understand that. So not everybody can do it. But the people who are looking to learn the wizard, who are lo looking to learn different things, okay, I'm telling you right now, you the whole of the YouTube Hall of Fame training, you will is the best thing for learning the wizard and stuff, like. Not only, obviously, do you get all the free designs each week and all of that stuff, but the two hours worth of training that we do every single week with the wizard and with just Q&A, if I, like, the reason why I do that is... The reason why I do that is the thing is, is I never had that when I started my business. And had I had something like that where someone that's been in my situation is willing to share all of that information with me, oh my God, I could have saved so much money. Like so much money in wasted materials and learning how to cut stuff and learning how to do stuff and learning the software and all of those things. So if there's one thing that I would say is probably the most beneficial thing that not as many people use, it would be probably that, the Hall of Fame training. Because as you guys see, when we have 200, 300, 400 people in these lives and I'm doing trainings, like I can't answer all the questions that come in. During the Hall of Fame trainings, we normally have around, I don't know, depending, 15 to 30 people. And literally every single question that comes in gets answered. Like every question that comes in. So anybody that has the wizard or is like people will come in and they'll be like, hey, Matt, I was trying to do this design and this kept happening. And during the live, I basically just open up the wizard and I say, okay, well, what was happening? Oh, this was. Oh, okay, here's how you fix that. Here's how you do that. And it's, I don't want to say it's a one-on-one -on -one training, but it's almost like a one. It's, it's honestly better than a one-on-one -on -one training, in my opinion, because you're getting 25 other people who are asking questions that you would have never thought of. You know what I'm saying? So they're asking questions that you would have never thought of, which obviously means you're getting that question answered before you run into that issue. All right. Yeah, and you're gonna, Claudette, you're going to have the wizard for three years and you're still learning. That's what's cool about it is there's so much stuff, you're just going to keep learning.
All right, crew. As always, appreciate you guys. You guys are all freaking awesome. My Monday night crew. Love you guys. Um, email info at rhinestoneworld.com. If you did win anything tonight on the spin wheel. Oh, you know what? Shoot, 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 shoot. I still have. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I still have two live attendees to give spins to. I can't believe you guys didn't remind me of that. I got two live attendees. We got 200 likes. Let's go. Okay, two live attendees. I got two of them that I just saw right here. Patty G and Kim MS. Patty G-E-E. -E. Patty G. Patty G and Kim MS. Each get a spin. Here we go. Patty. Patty gets a mini pack of choice. And Kim gets two mini packs of choice. Patty, one mini. Kim, two minis. Congratulations to you two. See, I didn't forget. Oh, we got one on the talk too. Oh my goodness, Mexico just scored again. They're up two. Let's go. All right. On the talk. Let's go talk. Let's go talk. I got. I got Cad Cade Piper seven seven. Cade Cad Piper seven seven on TikTok. K A D P I P E R seven seven for a spin. Here we go. Cad Piper, you got yourself a mini pack of choice. Congrats. Let's go. Oh, I got the game off on the side here. It's at a commercial now. Going into the ninth. Let's go. All right. Crew, appreciate all of you guys. Tick tock. I'm out. Later. YouTube, appreciate you guys. Have an amazing night. Um, the 70% off. I'll be taking it off probably. I'll, I'll go give you guys like a half hour, 45 minutes, okay? Uh, at 11 o'clock, I'm going to change it back to 65%, okay? All right, crew, have an amazing night. Appreciate you guys coming by. We'll see you soon.